Endometriosis is a condition in which tissue similar to the lining of the uterus grows on other parts of the body. The most common areas in the body where endometriosis can occur include the outside of the uterus, fallopian tubes, ovaries, bladder, intestines, and diaphragm. When a person has endometriosis, it can cause uncomfortable symptoms such as painful menstrual cramps, abdominal pain, or pain in the back during menstruation, infertility, and painful bowel movements. These symptoms can significantly impact a person's daily life. For some people, the symptoms experienced from endometriosis can be debilitating. Endometriosis is conventionally treated with pain medicine, hormonal therapies, and surgery. However, some people may prefer a natural endometriosis treatment which either complements a prescribed treatment or manages the symptoms of endometriosis on its own. Women who were treated with a combination of N-acetylcysteine, alpha-lipoic acid, and bromelain experienced an improvement in endometriosis-associated pelvic pain and required a lower intake of rescue pain medicine. There was a significant reduction in pain, with severe pain reported in 40.2% of women with endometriosis at baseline. After six months of supplementing with N-acetylcysteine, alpha-lipoic acid, and bromelain, just 3.6% of women reported severe pain. The combination of these three compounds is further being researched as a potential treatment option for endometriosis. For me, endometriosis has greatly affected my life. Many years ago, I had a massive ovarian cyst called an endometrioma. An endometrioma is an ovarian cyst caused by endometriosis. The endometrioma ruptured and caused sepsis and organ failure. Emergency surgery saved my life. In 2022, I had another very large endometrioma. Again, I had to have another surgery. During the surgery, the doctor removed the ovarian cyst, a fallopian tube which was severely damaged by endometriosis, and he also removed a lot of endometriosis which was found throughout my pelvis. Since the surgery in 2022, I have developed another endometrioma. However, since taking supplements, the endometrioma has stopped growing and for the moment it is stable. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like and subscribe down below. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. Bye-bye.